it's very quiet in here. Tiffany, where are you? Maureen, there's nobody here. God, where is everybody? A very warm welcome, listeners and viewers from all over Kenya, Africa, and the international arena. We are very happy that you have joined us this afternoon for the CITAM Women Meeting of September 2020. Today we are live on Hope FM. We are live on Hope TV Kenya. You can also plug on our social media platform, CITAM Buruburu. You can also plug in on the social media platform for Hope TV Kenya on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. When you tweet, hashtag as speak, Lord. Let's hear what's going on on our social media platform from Tiffany and Maureen. Hey, Tiffany. Hi, how are you? I'm good. You look great Thank this you. afternoon. Thank and you, you, Maureen? I'm well, I'm well. Thank you. Great. So what's yeah. happening on our social media platform this afternoon? Actually, we already have 17 people who are tuned in and we've just started. We are really grateful that you've decided to join the Women Ministry meeting today. Thank you so much because you are part of this great Johnny, Maureen, do you have anything? Yes, I have Doreen. Doreen, you, uh, you're, you, you're saying, um, when are you starting? We are already live. Please keep locked. Keep locked, Doreen. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed, we are live on Sitam Buru Facebook page. We are live on F, uh, Hope FM uh, TV. We are live also on uh, the YouTube, Instagram, and also you can tweet us. And at this time, Tell us, let us know where you have plugged in. We have so much in store for you. The theme being, when heaven seems silent, but God will speak this afternoon. Mm -hmm. At this particular time, we want to take your shout outs. Do you have some shout outs, Maureen? Yes, we have Faith, Faith in Mombasa. Uh, you're saying um, you've given up. Faith, don't give up. Today mm. is the day for you. Sister, keep locked. We have something great for you. Amen. We can see people plugging in from Sitam Buruburu. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you from Sitam Kitengala. Shout out to you from Sitam Mombasa. Shout out to you who are plugging in also from Sitam Rongai. We can see all the way from Nakuru. Nakuru, you're represented. Mombasa, you're represented. Karibuni Sana for the Sitam WM meeting of September 2020. Yes, 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 yes. We have... Um, from Wundani, Wundani, Karibuni, Karibuni. I can see Michelle. Michelle, you're, you're like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Thank you for streaming live. Thank you, thank you. Keep locked, keep locked. Tiffany, I can see some international ones. I think there's someone who, someone who's mentioned you here, Irene. Are you famous yep. and we don't know? Oh. There's someone who's mentioned you here. They're shouting out to you. They're saying you look amazing. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> we can see people are plugged in even from the U.S. Romania. Romania is in the house. A big, big shout out to you and welcome to the CITAM WM uh, meeting for September 2020, mm -hmm. hosted by none other than CITAM Buruburu. And at this time, without much ado, we would like to invite our women leader, Lucy Wambogo, to invite us officially for this afternoon session. Remember the hashtag as Speak Lord and the theme, Heaven May Seem silence. Back to you, our mom. Greetings from Nairobi, Kenya. It is a delight to have all of you who have joined this meeting today from all over, from Kenya, from Africa, and from the rest of the world. Today is a great day for all of us, and I'm sure we are bound to have a great time in the presence of the Lord. My name is Lucy Wambogo, head of department, women ministry from Sitam Buruburu Assembly. Women ministry is a fellowship of all ladies aged 18 and above. And women ministry is a place where women meet uh, to build relationships and uh, to also communicate the word of God and the love of God in a practical and exciting ways. 
even as they discover God's purpose for their lives. As this happens, their character, their behavior, and their attitude is transformed. Therefore, becoming better sisters, better wives, better mothers, better workers, both in the Lord's vineyard and also in the marketplace. We meet every third Saturday of the month in our different assemblies. However, currently, our meetings are on Hope Media or platforms. And so we welcome you uh, to keep joining us, and sure enough, you will be blessed. Uh, today, we are live on Hope Media, and uh, there is a lot that will be happening today. Today, we will be addressing uh, the topic when uh, heaven uh, seems uh, silent. We do have uh, something for everyone. I therefore kindly urge you to invite uh, your relatives, uh, your friends, uh, your neighbors, and kindly stay on until the very end. Don't touch that dial. Kindly, let's commit this meeting uh, to the Lord. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. We praise you from deep down our hearts. This afternoon, dear Lord, we are grateful for you have given us yet another opportunity uh, to meet on the different platforms, even as we wait to hear what it is you have in store for us. We surrender this meeting unto you, dear Father. We pray that you will take control, O oh God. How we pray, dear Father, that whatever that happens here this afternoon, dear Father, it will bring glory unto your name, and many will be blessed. Take over, King of Kings. We thank you and we bless you. And it's in Jesus' mighty and precious name that we do pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Amen. I will invite you wherever you are that will take time to worship the Lord is our Lord. He never changes. He speaks even now the Lord speaks. Amen. Come on, give him a shout of praise. And a cup of a ring to the King of Kings.
to that's it had your final say Lord, I will believe in you. I will trust in you. My hope is no one else, Lord. That's on you, Jehovah, who is a miracle worker. You keep your promises, Lord. My hope is on you, Jehovah. My trust is in you, Lord. I know, Lord, you never fail, Lord. I know, Lord, you never change. Whatever you say concerning me, concerning my life, concerning my ministry, concerning my family, concerning Kenya, I know, I know, I know, you are faithful. When you make a miracle work, Promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you were. Hold on to Jesus. See, when you make miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. I put my hope in you. With the way maker, we say, when you make.
even when I can see you, you're walking. You never stop, you never stop walking. You never stop, you never stop walking. Say, even when I don't feel it, you're working. You're walking, Lord. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. before you dear God. Lord we acknowledge that you are the great I am. That you are the Lord who changes not. The way you were yesterday you are today and even tomorrow we lift up your name on high for you have preserved our lives oh God and you have kept our feet my father even from sleeping. We want to thank you and we want to bless you yet we know that we are weak but in our weaknesses, oh God, we are made strong by you, oh dear Master. Oh Lord, we approach your very throne of grace, repenting of our sins, dear Master. For you have invited us, oh God, in Isaiah, verse 1 and 18, oh God, that even though our sins may be as lead as crimson, oh God, you are going to, my Father, wash them even as white as snow. And we thank you, dear Master, that this afternoon we can obtain mercy even from your very throne of grace. And we this confidence, dear God, we bring our petition unto you, dear Master. Our Father and our God, many of us have tuned in, oh God, with great expectations, dear Master, because we have been knocking on your door with great things and needs, my Father. And Lord God, how we pray for that woman who has been trusting you for many years, oh God, because of a wayward child, because my father of a career, because my father even of a marriage, how we pray that you are going to meet them at the very point of their needs, oh dear master. That this afternoon, each one of us, oh God, we shall know for sure our God is with us. We want to thank you this afternoon, dear master. Even as we remember the widows and the orphans, oh king of our king. The Bible says, my father, in the book of James 1 and verse 27, that my father and my God, that religion that you consider perfect and pure, is looking after such, dear master. How we pray, dear master, 
pastor, that you are going to turn the hearts of many to take this religion into a step of faith so that widows and orphans, my father, will never lack a king of our king. And their cries will never come to you, dear master, even in pain, king of our king. We want to pray for all our families, my father, that these families will stay united, oh God. Your word in Psalms 33, dear, 133, dear master, you always tell us, oh God, where there is unity, you command a blessing. We want to pray this afternoon, oh God, that you shall command a blessing in every family because unity will be found there because of the peace of Christ, oh dear master, that will unify the families, dear master. They will be seated there even with the peace of our God. King of all kings, we bless you and we worship you. We also want to lift up our nation before you. This nation of Kenya is a great nation, dear Father. Your word in Proverbs 24 and verse 3, my Lord says, O oh God, by wisdom a house is built, O oh God, and through knowledge it is established, King of all kings. I will pray that you will capture the hearts of men and the women, even in this nation, O oh God, to gain wisdom from heaven so that we can build our nation, O oh God, in wisdom, dear Father. And it shall be established, O oh God, in the foundation of faith, dear Master. And then God, sin will be a thing of the past in this nation. We remember our president and his deputy, O oh God, that my father, because you have put them into the leadership in such a time like this, O oh God, you grant them wisdom and power, dear Father, to stir up this nation, O oh God, even in the way of the Lord, dear Master. We thank you, God, and we bless you. We worship you and we honor you, dear Father. Remember even the church of Christ, O oh God, that in a time like this, my Father, times of uncertainty, dear Lord, the lamp of God will keep on my Father lighting on the church of God. And they will lead people, my Father, even unto your ways, King of our King. We bless you, God, and we worship you. Behold, because your anointing is coming up, oh dear Father. And we want to pray, dear Master, this afternoon, because we have a table that you have raised, oh King of our King, that you anoint your servant, dear Master. Your word says in Psalm 37, oh God, and verse 30, dear Father, the righteous, my Father, will utter, dear Master, even the words of wisdom. Let her, my Father, Father, use her words in wisdom from heaven because God, you are with her. We bless you and we worship you because we pray all this believing and trusting you, in the very mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Helen, Amen. for the intercessory prayers and thank you, worship team, for such great ministration uh, through song. You may now have your seat, our viewers and listeners at home. And if you're in your comfort of your home, you can also have your couch. At this particular time, I can see that we have very many people who have joined us online. We have people all the way from New York. We have Lebanon, California. They're all streaming live in many places from, uh, from, from, from Kenya as well. Reverend Josephine Gu and Mrs. Jacinta Carita, we are acknowledging your presence. We can see you're streaming online. Esther is saying power, powerful worship. Unaweza mungu. Hashtag is speak Lord. That's our hashtag for today. Again, our social media platforms are on Hope. We are on Hope TV, uh, Kenya, live on Hope FM, Sitam Boroboro Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Instagram and on Twitter. At this particular time, I will invite the media to roll the offertory clip. And before they do that, I am going to pray. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day and for your blessings that you brought upon us. We ask of you, O oh Lord, that even when we give of our tithes and offerings, your blessing may continue being with your people. For those who don't have, Lord, remember them. In Jesus' name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Back to you, media. It is now time to express oh. our worship to God through giving. Thank you for your continued support of God's work through CETAM. 
We believe that God who sees in secret will reward you openly and abundantly. We have established a common payment platform for all our giving, irrespective of which assembly you attend and even for our visitors. You can now give via mobile money through the following platforms. M-Pesa or Airtel Money, the pay bill number for either system is 933-934. For account name, please indicate the CITOM assembly you attend. If you have joined us in this service but you are not a member of any CITOM assembly, just write offering in their account space. Please remember that all other CITOM pay bill numbers remain operational. If you would like to make a direct bank deposit, electronic transfer or PESA link, please use the following account. Account name, Christ is the Answer Ministries. The bank is Cooperative Bank, University Way Branch. Account number is 011-280-617-639-0. SWIFT CODE KCOOKENA. If you prefer to give through our website, kindly visit www.sitem.org. Click on the Give tab and follow the instruction for online giving. Once again, we want to appreciate your giving and continued prayers for the ministry. God bless you. We're back to our programming. Thank you so much for your giving of your tithe and offerings. As we continue with our ministration today, I would like to give some shout outs again and acknowledge Jen, Joyce Mary. You're saying you're tuned in from Sitam Gong, Nora Nyolando. You're watching from Rongai, Kajiado, Victoria Matsalia. You're tuned in from Thika. Uh, even those who are tuning in from Lebanon, our God will speak to you. In California, even in the, in, the, in the fires, the Lord will speak to you. We will now invite Precious with a spoken word as she speaks to you on be still as we wait on the Lord. In the beginning, there was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. The word. The word said, be still and know that I am God. My sister, does God seem silent? Dear mother, I know he seems silent. My friend, when God seems silent, don't fret, don't cry, but let God. Yes, be still and know that he is God. He hears when we call on him. This lady, I call her Hannah. Hannah, because upon her, I pray for a spirit like hers. It has been 10, maybe 11 or even more years. Since she tied the knot with the love of her life, we have prayed for the fruit of the womb and we continue to pray and pray and pray. I continue to pray. As I hope and wait, but I feel she has given up hope. Even though, yes, even though, the Lord promised. The Lord said, no one shall miscarry, nor barren in your land. But see, she's withdrawn from friends. Relatives too, she avoids. She feels less of a woman each day. To a point, life seems void and unworthy. Hannah has thrown in the towel. Her friends' children's birthdays she avoids. She says God's silence is so loud. So loud it resounds in her womb. I have made it my duty, you know, to remind her 
that when God seems silent, don't fret, don't cry, but let God. Yes, be still and know that He is God. He hears and He answers. When you have fasted, prayed and decreed the scriptures, the scriptures that speak to your situation, when you have praised and worshipped and obeyed according to the scriptures and yet no change in that situation, don't choose to cry. Don't wave. Don't even moan and think that you're in need all alone. Don't think that God has left you all alone. He promised never to leave nor forsake us, dear friend, dear sister, dear mother. When God seems silent, don't fret, don't cry, but let God. Yes, be still and know that He is God. He hears, He answers. What Jesus did on the cross was enough for everyone on the face of the earth. But because of time and seasons, for there is a time and a season for everything under the heavens. My sister, all your friends are married. You have prayed for your opportunity but God seems silent. All your friends and relatives have good jobs, good businesses, flying out every so often to attend seminars and business meetings abroad. <laughs> you have fasted. You have helped the poor. You have accommodated a stranger. You have visited the destitute children. In their foster homes, you have visited prisoners to share the message of hope. And yet, God is silent. <laughs> is God a man that he should lie? <laughs> of course not. His promises are yeah and amen. So I say... There cannot be summer for all seasons. There is a time to be born and a time to die. If you're not born again, this is your season to be born and sin's season to die. There is a time to plant and a time to uproot. This is your season to plant faith, patience, and unbelief season to be uprooted. There is a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. If you have been weeping and mourning, the season ends today. It ends now, invite the season of laughing and dancing. Dance, because he has turned your mourning into dancing laugh. <laughs> laugh loud, because you're going to embrace success and refrain from failure that there is a time to keep silent and a time to speak. And as such, my friends, if we have spoken in prayers, spoken in praise, spoken through love, let us continue to speak no complaints, no murmurs, no regrets, no unbelief. That time, that season ends here and now. We are silencing every evil voice in our minds and calling healing upon our hearts to recognize the voice of truth, 
the voice of truth that will tell us a different story, a new story, that our struggle is over, that in faith we are assured of that new job, that baby, that business, that perfect peace, that healing, that restoration in Jesus' mighty name. That when he seems silent, he is preparing something better, bigger, and more beautiful. He is, the, is a promise keeper. Hush. Hush. Keep silent. Keep silent. Be still. And know that he is God. When God seems silent, don't fret, don't cry, but let God be still and know that He is God. He hears our prayers, He answers. Amen. Thank you, Precious, for such a powerful ministration with a spoken word. Indeed, we can see Nash Kemi saying here, wow, powerful spoken word. I am blessed. And Stella Maris Maweu says, speak, Lord. Speak to your daughter here. Indeed, the Lord is going to speak to you. We are going to have the choir with a special song, and that will be followed with a skit based on a true story that is talking to us about real life situation of three ladies who have walked the path of life, troubled so much so, but God came through, the Lord spoke, be blessed.
When God seems silent, there's call of waiting. Psalms chapter 13, verse 1 to 4. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O oh Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. Sisters, it's a tough race we are in. Endure it to the end in order to win. There is a race I must run, there are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. There is a race I must run, there are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. That's good news. Ten million will do me good. I don't worry. That's your task. It's great to Babe. Babe, make us an aquasimo. And can you allow me to finish with this? Then just a sec. Okay, good. We'll be together. All right, bye bye. So, what were you saying? Maybe we've made our data business date. Wait a minute. Let's start with Naivasha tomorrow. You know, there's money. I have five contracts to sign. Imagine? Mm -hmm. 10 billion. You're going to get 10 billion. Yes. Me and you are going to get 10, 10 billion. Cool billion. I said, that's nice, babe. You know what? Mm -hmm. I want to treat you. I want to spoil you. So tell me what you want. I just want small money How for my much? hair, your for hair my nails. Nice. Mm -hmm. no, 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 it doesn't look nice for you. You know, when you're happy, I am happy. You see, then you so, do that thing. Which one? You give me money. How much do you need? Just 50,000. I think I will give you 10, I mean 100,000, and then I give you a check for 50,000. What do you say about that? Yeah, that's great. All right, just have this, and then I think I can have a check for how much? Hey! 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 That's my sister. Why? 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 Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13. Young girls, remember there is a proper time for marriage. Please keep yourselves pure. Be still. Be still, daughter. God. Oh, God, I've been trusting you for the salvation of my daughter. God, I've been serving you diligently. The 
tell the Lord who might remember me and my children. Oh God, why new things are silent on me? Why do you seem so silent on me? Oh God, I'm just still confident in your word, Jehovah. In the book of Psalms, that Lord, I shall live to see the goodness in the land of the living. That I will stay still, Lord. And wait upon you, my God. is real. Do you have the right network of friends? Oh God, why me? Why me? Why me? See Lord, I have been terminated from work Lord. See Lord, I have been evicted from this house. See Lord, I'm losing it Father, yet you are silent on me. Lord, why are you so silent on me? Father, come and show yourself, oh God. I have waited on you, oh God. I have tied so faithfully. I have served you, oh God. And now nothing seems to be working. I have no husband. I have no children. I have no business. It's also gone. Where are you, my God? I can't seem to find you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. 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 This is the solution. I can end it all now. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, my sister, this is why I've been calling you and you've not been picking my phones. Oh, no. Don't, I don't. don't Remember there is a God. God, the God who lives, lives in us. He lives in our hearts. No. He will still care for he you. He there. loves you, my sister. Our God in heaven he cares for me, us. Lord. He is in our I hearts. He will me. never leave us nor forsake us. There is a God in heaven, oh, my sister. Let's trust me. God. Let's trust God. Because I know He holds my future. Wow, God is good. Mm. A knock. Oh, I'm very, very, very tired. Ah, Karibu, ma. No, no. Karibu. How are you been? Karibu. Oh, no. There is no sign of a baby here. Good 10 years. We have been married by my son, Mia Kakumi. The last time I was here, Mia Kambiri I told you I want babies to be running over this place. We are How waiting. come I can't see a baby? You have finished me. Kazi yako ni kukula. I can see. Kazi yako ni kukula na kujaza tu. Kukula tu. Amu na faida ya yote. Ata afadha ni ngombe inaeza ni patia maziwa. Have a seat. Have a seat. Na inaeza ni patia bolea. Wawa, lazima ni kufundishe. Kitu leo. Have a seat. Lazima, lazima. Wawa, siyezi. Kazi yome ni maliza. Oh, no. Siwezi kaa kwa inyo matena. Siwezi kaa hata na kika moja. Let me go to the village. You have finished me. You have finished me, my daughter. You have finished me. God. She has gone. I don't know. Wow, there is something. Hey. 
Raudi, staki wajue niko na mimba. Wamekuwa na kuja hapa kuniroga. Raudi napata mtoto. Darusia baby. Let me take a juice. Thank you Jesus. At least I'm in the kitu. Nice. Hii nyumba yangu ni chafu. Acha nifanye fanye kitu. Marine. Share with me what is the problem? I lost my baby. Again? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, sister. I'm so sorry. I feel your pain. I'm sorry. Auntie, I'm sorry. Stop crying. Stop crying. Let me tell you, stop crying. What happened to you now has happened to me before. Let me tell you. Let me tell you my testimony. Stop crying. Just stop crying before I say, okay? Let me tell you, what happened to you now has happened to me several years ago. You see, I have a baby now. When it's dark like this, it seems God is far. But I tell you, God will answer you. Just have faith. Keep praying. Keep believing in him. He will answer you. He answered me. See, my baby is 10 months now. I was just like you the other day. But now you see me. My dear, stop crying. It shall be well. Stop crying. The Lord will answer you. The Lord will come through for you. I tell you, my sister, he will come through for you. Stop crying. Aki, stop crying. Sisters, God hears our prayers. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Killing yourselves, running to sponsors for quick money, going to magicians is not a solution. But our Father in heaven is. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of a slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand on. Right. Be patient and seek his face. Amen. Wow, what a powerful, powerful ministration through drama. My friends, ladies, if you're listening to this and you have missed it, please keep sharing this as much as you can in your social media platform on Facebook. We are still live on Sitam Guru. We are live on Hope TV Kenya. We are live on Hope FM. Vero, we hear your cry. Oh God, answer my prayers. Vero Murigi. God will answer your prayers. Becky Francisca Kosi, oh Lord, hear me today. I am crying, Lord, hear my cry. Oh Lord, I have no one else to turn to. All of you who are crying, right now, just engage on our social media platform and send us your prayer request. We are going to have a session to pray for you. Hashtag speak, Lord. At this particular moment, I want to invite the minister of the word, Reverend Rosemary Kalani. Rosemary, uh, she's married to Josephette Kalani. They have two wonderful children, and they're blessed with two grandchildren. Reverend Rosemary Kalani is also a teacher at Potter's House. 
She's also heading the Mother's Touch uh, ministry, where they are dealing with healing, healing of Jesus Christ. And this afternoon, Reverend, all of you who are crying, Reverend is going to speak unto you that special word that the Lord has put in our heart. Good afternoon, Reverend. Good afternoon. It's so wonderful to be here. You look beautiful. Thank yourself. you, thank you, thank you we so much. We are so radiant expectant. Amen. Carried thank on. you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so wonderful to come into your homes. It's wonderful to come to wherever you are tuned in this afternoon. What a wonderful program that we've had this time in the presence of the Lord. I want wherever you are, just lift your hands to the Lord. Give him glory because only he can answer prayer. Lift your voice to him and worship him. Come on, somebody. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. He alone answers prayer. He alone is able to move that mountain and so what a joy to come to us this afternoon with this word when heaven seems silent I want to acknowledge and appreciate the leadership of Sitam Buruburu for even granting me this opportunity uh, yes I'm Rosemary Kalani married to Justice Kalani and my mandate is to take the healing of Christ to a hurting world. I minister with the Master's Touch Ministry, Master's Touch Ministry, and I fellowship at Sitam Burubur. Father, we thank you for this moment to hear your word. Your people have been waiting, eagerly waiting, that you will minister to them, O oh God. And Father, we thank you because you're not limited. That because they are not here present with us, Lord, you are not limited because God Almighty, you are where they are. We are believing you to touch your people by your word. We are believing you to touch your people by your spirit. We are believing the burdens will be lifted in the name of Jesus. We are declaring bondages will be broken in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for the anointing that breaks the yokes and lifts burdens in Jesus name Father I pray grant me utterance this afternoon in Jesus name uh, turn with me to 2nd Kings chapter 8 we are going to read 6 verses from 2nd Kings chapter 8 1 to 6 we don't have so much time so I'll try and be very very brief uh, in Jesus name the woman from Shunem returns home the woman from Shunem returns home. Elisha had told the woman whose son he had brought back to life, take your family and move to some other place, for the Lord has called for a famine on Israel that will last for seven years. So the woman did as the man of God instructed, and she took her family and settled in the land of the Philistines for seven years. After the famine ended, she returned from the land of the Philistines, and she went to see the king about getting back her house and land. As she came in, the king was talking to Gehazi, the servant of the man of God. The king had just said, tell me some stories about the great things Elisha has done. And Gehazi was telling the king about the time Elisha had brought a boy back to life. At that very moment, the mother of the boy walked in to make the appeal to the king about her house and land. Look, my lord, the king, Gehazi exclaimed, here is the woman now, and this is her son, the very one Elisha brought back to life. Is this true? The king asked her, and she told him the story. So he directed one of his officials to see that everything she had lost was restored to her, including the value of any crop that had been harvested during her absence. We thank God for his word. I begin by saying this afternoon that a woman's life is characterized by seasons. And just because you're born again does not exempt you from experiencing different seasons. No matter the category you fall in as a woman, married or single or widowed, divorced, separated, uh, young, old, whatever category you fall in as a woman, you will experience different seasons. It is important, however, not for you to make conclusions uh, based on one season. 
I want to stop and pause and say, don't put a, a full stop where God has put a comma. I need to remind you that though uh, seasons do change, though seasons are change, God does not change. God does not change. I want to underscore that although he does not change, he changes seasons. In your house, you can prophesy today and say, my season for sure will change. That is why as a believer, we, you should always be a prisoner of hope. A prisoner of hope. Naomi is a good example in the Bible that seasons can change. Nothing prepared her for what she went through. We see happiness because she's married. We see increase because now she has two sons. But now there are challenges because there is a famine. We see loss of a husband. We see grief because the sons have died. Then the story changes. I believe that this afternoon the story will change for somebody. In the name of Jesus, we see in Naomi restoration. We see in Naomi laughter in the, the last phase of her life. There was a season in her life when she blamed God for all her woes. She felt God was unfair to the point that she says, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. And maybe you have changed your name. You have said I'm broke. I am sick. You have changed your name to the one who's always oppressed. But today I say, God is able to change your season. So don't change your name to equal what you're going through. So when we refer to heaven being silent, what are we saying? We are referring to God not acting on our behalf as we expect. And the time we expect. Not hearing God as before. Have you gone through a season? Especially when we just got born again. We could hear God. The word of God. And suddenly there's a season. You can't hear God as you ought to hear. As you used to hear God. Maybe you have not received answer to prayer. Or promises. Or prophecies. That have been given to you. And so these times. Can be the times we say are dry. Times we say there are times of testing. So it is possible, it is possible that you can become bitter, you can become frustrated, you can become angry, you can become resentful, you can become disappointed. You can be also even be tempted to compromise. Many have been left sorrowful and confused. In the season when God seems silent. Now some have opted for a plan B. Like Sarah did. Now listen to what Job says. Job says in Job 23 verse 8. Behold I go forward. He's not there. I go backwards. He's not there. I go here and there. But I don't perceive him. On the left. He is not working. I don't behold him. He turns to the right hand, but I don't see him. North, south, east, west, I cannot see God. Maybe your north has been afraid. I can't see him. Maybe your south is I have fasted. I can't see him. Maybe your right is that I've served God, but the miracle has not come. Maybe I have done this. And the other but I don't perceive him and I don't see him Proverbs 13 12 says hope deferred makes the heart sick but that's not the end of that verse because a longing fulfilled is a tree of life it is possible for one to have a sick heart Job at one time has a sick heart when he said God I don't know where you are a sick heart is a heart that has no joy. A sick heart is a heart that cannot trust God. A sick heart can lead 
to depression can lead to ulcers, can lead to loss of joy. But I know tonight I carry the anointing through the power of the Holy Ghost for sick hearts. Today somebody's joy will come back in the name of Jesus. Some of you are anxious. The sick heart has caused anxiety because of the waiting. But I want to say there is a second part of that verse. I know what it is to have a sick heart because I waited for seven years for a baby. I know what it is not to want to go to church. I know what it is to cry in the night and weep because I did not lose one or two or three, but I lost four children within a period of seven years. I know what it is to look at life and hate life. I know what it is to regret. I know what it is to cry out to God in desperation and heaven still is silent. But I know there is a night, a night I will never remember when I locked with heaven and I said tonight I will not let you go until you bless me. And that night marked a different season in my life. Who am I talking to tonight? Delay is not denial. Just because he's not come when you thought he should come. I can tell you for sure, he came in my life. And today, I have a daughter whom I prayed for that night. And she is 10, 11, 11 years old. Glory to God. In 2 King, we encounter a woman. She is referred to as a Shunammite woman. There was a season in this woman's life when heaven was silent. If you want to read about this woman, go to 2 Kings chapter 4, from 8 to 37, you see her story. Now one of the things that is captured in chapter 4 is that she is wealthy. She is rich, but there is a but in her life. She is rich, but barren. Can we talk about a but in your life? Because every woman has a but. You are beautiful, but not married. Hallelujah. There is a but in your life. You're qualified, but no job. You have a husband, no child. You have this and the other, no job, no money. I mean, there's always a but. But even if there is a but, let me say this to you today. There is always something you can thank God for. There is always something good in your life. Hallelujah. And so this woman has a but, no child. And you know, sometimes I think the bat is there. The bat is there to keep us humble. The bat is there to remind us to look up to God. Hallelujah. Now, heaven remained silent as far as getting a child was concerned. But she's blessed. There's something, however, I love about this woman. It's what she did in the moment that heaven was shut. She chose to focus on something else. She chose to bless the man of God, Elisha. She was not so depressed that she cannot remember to bless others. And so through this interaction, we know the story. The heavens are opened and she gets a child. Remember the husband is very old. So today it doesn't matter how, what odds are against you. If God be for you, hallelujah. He's able to come through, no matter the odds that are against you. And so this woman has seasons of barrenness. There is fruitfulness. Now she has a child. Then the, the boy dies. There is loss. And then there is restoration where we read about. Now, so this is where I want to come and say, this woman now is introduced to another season. A season of famine. And all of us have been introduced to a season of COVID. A season where some of us, we have lost our jobs. There is loss of, of, of income. Our businesses are down. And for this woman, she's given a word and told you have to relocate. She is wealthy. She is rich. And now there is a famine. And I want to tell us women that sometimes nothing will prepare you for a hard time. 
Nothing will prepare you for death. Nothing will prepare you for loss of a job or your health. But there is something that we can always remember. We can fall into the hands of God who is able to carry us and sustain us in every season. This woman is told, leave your house for seven years. And the prophet says, this is a while. Seven years is not a short time. The while was for seven years. I don't know for how long your while will be. But she was told, after seven years, I come today to say, because I've heard my father say that today is marking a new beginning for somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen. That the end of famine was to be after seven years. That meant the famine is over. Now a new season begins. We want to prophesy a new season to somebody today. In the name of Jesus, a new season for you. Now this woman, we've heard the story that after seven years, because of the interest of time, she says to herself, the prophet says, after seven years, I come to say, what did God say to you? Are you holding on to that promise? Are you holding on to what he has said to you? Because he never lies. And after seven years, this woman comes and says, I've got to come and claim what belongs to me. Am I preaching to somebody today? Today is a day of claiming. Today is a day of calling upon God and claiming what he has said to us. But I want to ask a question as I finish this afternoon. What can you do when heaven is silent? Now, I've not to come to give you keys. One, two, three, four, five. No, I've come to say you can use one of these keys. Number one, quickly, examine our lives. Is there sin in your life? Because disobedience will disqualify you from heaven's, atten uh, from heaven's attention. The Bible says in Isaiah 59, The hand of the Lord is not too short that it cannot save. His ears are not dull that they cannot hear. But it is your sin that has cut you off. Because of your sin, you stand away and will not listen anymore. Examine your life if there's sin. This woman we see obeyed the word of the prophet. Are you obeying the word of God? Number two, eliminate noise. Eliminate noise. Because when there is too much noise, you sometimes cannot hear God. This is one of the things that God has taught me recently. That even as I am Pentecostal, and some of us are, we dominate our prayer time. We do all the talking. And sometimes you cannot hear God. Because just like Elijah, he had God as a still small voice. And so when heaven is silent, seems silent, it may be God is talking, but you cannot get your attention. Because your mind is racing. Your emotions are racing. Your, people are talking and asking you, when are you getting married? When are you getting the baby? When are you doing this and all that? I say eliminate the noise. We have to learn to quieten ourselves. Sometimes in prayer, just be quiet. Be quiet. Let God speak to you. He is God. Be still and know I am God. Psalms 46 and verse 10. Now let me say something about my mom. I grew up in a village called Dogoto. Some of you know I call it Scotland. And one of the things that my mother would do every day when she would come home, she would turn off the radio. From working, she would enter, and those are the days we want loud music. She would come and turn off the radio. Why? She's tired. And after a long day, she wants it quiet to be able to recap. And so I want to ask you, Learn to tune with the frequency of heaven. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And I know, I know them and they follow me. Number three, entreat God. We've talked about eliminate the noise. We've talked about examine yourself. Entreat means plead, especially in order to persuade. This is what this woman did. Even when her son died, we see her eliminating noise. 
She said, I'm not listening to what anybody will say. I'm going forward to the prophet. And now, when the famine is over, she comes to entreat the king for restoration. Today is a good day to entreat the Lord. To entreat means you're taking no for an answer. Hannah entreated the Lord for a child. And God gave her Samuel, which means God had. There's some prayers that unlock heaven. There's some prayers that make the power of God to come and intervene. Could that be like the time of Daniel? He prayed and the first time he prayed, the answers came. But because there were powers of Pasha that withheld. So I come to say the kind of entreating is the kind also that engages in spiritual warfare. That's why we begin to bind. That's why we begin to lose and declare that God is coming through for us. I want to remind us as I come to an end. Matthew 11, 12. And from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence taken by force. Today in your house, begin to take your healing by force. Begin to take your restoration. Begin to say, I will not be barren. Begin to say, sickness leave my body. We are taking our joy by force. We are taking our joy back. Number four, endeavor to trust God and keep serving. Do you remember Zechariah of old? He had no child. Heaven was silent. But where did the angel find him? In the presence of God serving. Don't stop serving because the miracle has not come. Hebrews 10, 35 and 36. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere. So when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Or oh, in your house say, I will not throw away my confidence in God. He may not come when I want. He may come four days later, but he will be on time. He will be on time. As you wait for your miracle, continue to speak with your mouth. Continue to declare, he has said, he has promised, because he's not a man to lie. Today, maybe the breakthrough has not come. But if you have seen it, if your eyes of faith have seen it, you may declare, oh God, come suddenly, come quickly. Come, come speedily. You know, I wonder why sometimes God will be silent. But I know for sure that it is in moments of silence that my faith is made perfect. It is in times of silence that my character is refined. Let me tell you, you can never know that he can heal if you've never been sick. You can never know that he can provide if you've never known lack. You can never know he can promote if you've not been down. And like David, I come to say, I was in a pit, but he lifted me. It's only those who've been in the pit who can know he's the lifter of my head hallelujah our God is a miracle working God his power is not limited but he will be silent so that you may learn how to call upon him I want to finish and say just because the answer has not come it's not an indication that God is unfaithful it's not an indication that miracles don't happen in our days could it be that the door is closed because you have not used the keys? It is time to arise and use the keys and principles outlined in the word of God. In the few minutes, I think five minutes of this time, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want you to play that music a bit loud. In the name of Jesus, a bit, a bit loud. Hallelujah. Listen, God, in the morning, gave me two categories of people. Shake it, Rakete, Rebosha, Yerebosia. 
Today is a day of lifting for those who are downcast. It's a day of healing for those who are sick. And I come to prophesy restoration of what you have lost in the name of Jesus. To category of people. There are people who are living Lodiba today. Lodiba is where Mephibosheth was. A land of no communication. A land where there was no pasture. But by the word of the king, he left Lodiba. I call you out of Lodiba, a dry place, to the king's palace, where you begin to feast with Jehovah on the table. You will not fellowship with God one more time. I call you out of Lodiba, where you could not pray. You will begin to pray. I activate prayer again. I activate joy again. In the name of Jesus, the second category of people, are people who have not laughed, who are down emotionally like Sarah. I heard by the Spirit of God that barrenness will be broken. Whether it is physical barrenness, whether it's financial barrenness, it shall be broken. Who am I talking to? Listen, Sarah said, he has made me laugh. He has made me laugh. There are testimonies that will come your way that will make you laugh that will make you rejoice. I wish I had time, and I will give you some of this testimony. But I want to prophesy and declare, somebody is laughing. Somebody is going to laugh. Somebody is going to laugh. Somebody is going to laugh. Because of the restoration of your marriage, you will laugh. Hallelujah. Because of the healing. I remember a lady who came to our meeting one day and she had never worn high shoes because her back always gave her an issue. And God healed her. And today she chooses which heels to wear. I prayed with women who are barren. We've dedicated miracle children in our services. We've canceled operations because Jesus came and somebody began to love. Oh, declare I will love in this season. It may be you lost a job, you're going to get a better one. Maybe God is going to give you a business. There is laughter coming into your home. I prophesy laughter. I prophesy joy. I call it into your house today. Father, right now, we take authority over every work of the enemy that has caused your people to be down that has cast your people down by the virtue of this prayer, by the virtue of this sermon, by the virtue of this service. Oh God, let there be a lifting. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke barrenness, physical barrenness, spiritual barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I call for the restoration like that came to the Shunammite woman, but dated Almighty God, and I pray, oh Father, that for those, Lord, who've not understood, will know that God, you are purifying this character being formed, and they will know that indeed you're faithful. Maybe you're saying, I don't even know this God. That's where you begin. That's where you begin. Through salvation, you can know his mercy. You can know his mercy. You can, your sins can be forgiven in the name of Jesus. As Reverend Wairibo comes to pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are joining our faith for your miracle. We are joining our faith for your deliverance. We are joining our faith for your lifting. We are joining our faith. Be healed in your body. Be healed in your emotions. Be healed. We rebuke backache. We, re we rebuke ulcers. We rebuke heart disease. We rebuke diabetes. We rebuke barrenness. Let healing flow. Go ahead, Reverend. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, heaven is not silent. And it's that time to engage heaven on your behalf. Even when he seems silent, he is at work. For 400 years, the children of Israel were in slavery. But the Lord said, I have seen their misery. I have heard their cry. And I am concerned, and I have come so that I may deliver them. The Lord God is doing with us 
the same thing this evening and we have received your prayer point and we are studying in the gap tonight for the Lord our God is a God who hears who created ears have ears to hear Latifa Caro we have received your prayer point you are you are saying oh Lord why are you silent give me rest this year he has heard your cry and we have received from Ann Alosa, God is good, praying for restoration of, go of a good job, deliverance from death, direction in my education, and above all, to walk in Christ. We have also received from Lydia Gigi K, my prayer is for provision and open doors. We have also received from Clinton Nitigamu, praying for food, provision for me and my kids. Let's go ahead and pray. Indeed, our God, we want to thank you. You are a God that hears prayer. You are a God that answers prayer. You who created the ears, you have ears to hear. And this evening, in the name of Jesus, in response to your word, we lift up Ratifa Karo before you. Lord, she is asking for rest this year. And you are the one who have said, Come unto me, O ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Lord, may you grant her the rest that she desires. Be it rest of mind, O God. May you grant it to her, O God. Whatever burden she has been carrying, may she experience the rest of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we stand with Anne Alosa. Lord, as she is praying for restoration of a good job, and Lord, for deliverance from death, and even for her education, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, oh God, you may answer her prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. You say in your word that every good and perfect gift comes from you, the Father of light, and in you there is no variableness and there is no shadow of turning. You gave Jesus heaven's best. How will you not together with him give us all good things freely? May she receive that which she is asking for, that good job, that cancellation of debt. May she receive a financial breakthrough, a supernatural financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Even as she desires to walk in Christ, oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that she will walk in the fullness of who you are in her life to the glory and to the honor of your great name. Father God, we start with Lydia who is praying for provision and open doors. Oh God, you are the one who opens doors that no man can shut. Open that door for Lydia to the glory and to the honor of your great name. May she experience your goodness in the land of the living. And Father, we want to stand with Clinton Nitigamu praying for food provision. We pray, and she praying for her, for his kids. We pray in the name of Jesus, that Lord, you will come through for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, you are the one who provides the needs of your children. Father, may you meet this person at the point of his need to the glory and to the honor of your name. We stand with Sarah Sariah, praying for deliverance from stagnation against evil and, and praying for God to open doors. Father God, how we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, you will do it for Sarah in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Lord, may you open that door. Lord, may you grant her all the deliverance that she is seeking for you are our deliverer. May she experience you as the deliverer in the name of Jesus. We surround her with the blood of Jesus against any evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We also want to stand with this one, uh, not given your name, but you are saying that you want to be remembered in this season that Jehovah may establish your marriage that, uh, that it will not fall apart and that God would provide even for you. It has been unbearable. Yes, Lord, you are the one 
who created and you design marriage. And we pray for this one. They may be unknown to us, but you know them by their names. Oh God, may your blessing locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. May you bring healing to this marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that that marriage will not be a divorce statistic. She has brought it to the altar where there is healing and restoration and reconciliation. Right now, oh God, may you bring the healing that she desires in her marriage and the provisions that she desires, oh God in her marriage and to the glory and the honor of your name. Father God, may you meet your children at the point of their needs to the glory and to the honor of your great name. We continue to ask you to continue sending your prayer report, uh, their prayer points, even though we may not mention them by name here. The Lord God Almighty, who knows you by your name, he will answer you where you are, and we will continue to pray, even away from this pulpit. But now we want to bring this service to an end, and we want to thank God for the great time that he has given us, even as we were in his presence. Presence. I'm sure every one of us has been blessed and has been ministered. And to join me as we give thanks to the Lord and we bring this service to an end. Father, we thank you and we bless you for what you have done in our lives today as ladies in the church and this nation and even wherever, Lord, you have caused women and men to watch this service, oh God. Continue your work in their lives to the glory and to the honor of your name. And now I want to pronounce a benediction over us, words of Psalms chapter 20. And this is what the Bible says, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans to succeed. And all God's children say it, amen and amen. May the Lord bless you and may he cause his face to shine upon you. Shalom. Amen. This is the Sitem Worship Service.